guys it's Ashley Christina as you know and I wanted to I was I was going to um, do a video I think what is it today Saturday so I wanted to do something Thursday or Friday and I woke up Thursday from work and was just like <laughs> and um, woke up Friday and was just like <laughs> again so um, and I also have better sunlight uh, the past couple days it's been just kind of very sleepy hollow looking very nasty and sad looking outside so um, there's actually sun out and I was kind of on the fence of like what look like what kind of makeup look I wanted to do today so I have like a ton of stuff next to me and I don't know what I want to do but my mother just um, called me to ask me if I wanted to um, bring my dog to a park and um, let him out and play in the grass and poop and pee everywhere and sorry that was gross and um, I said yes so I am going to base my look off of being outside in the springtime so um, it is considered spring right now I think it's supposed to be 60 today um, but Essentially, that's not as hot as I would prefer it to be. So, um, sorry if I look like an egghead. My hair is dirty and gross. And so, uh, whatever makeup look I put on today is what I'm going outside in. So, um, it's going to be pretty simple. Um, it's going to be pretty plain. Almost basic. Almost probably nothing. Um, so, <laughs> um, I hope you like this look. This is kind of like a quick go to um, cover up some blemishes makeup look um, tutorial so I am going to start off with my eyes. I usually like to um, I have a lot of like veins in my eyelids and stuff like that so I usually like to cover that up first I usually like to tackle that first um, I know that a lot of girls on YouTube use the uh, MAC Pro uh, Pro Longwear Concealer, um, but I like to use the um, Studio Finish Concealer. Um, SPF 35 is in it, and it's an NW25, and I like to use this because it's a little bit thicker, a little bit heavier, and it covers like Derma Blend over my eyes, which is, for me, a major beauty problem. Um, I don't like that you can see, like... <laughs> Just everything going on like everything that I'm thinking about is in my eyelids. They're just dark and purple and you know, so I usually like to cover That up first and start with a Clean base and it also I'm sure as you know is a really great way to Is it also a good primer? For whatever eyeshadow you're going to put on I know it looks, in the camera, it looks kind of like, ee, kind of white, but it's actually like almost the exact same color as my skin tone. I come out a little bit more um, harsh in this camera, so, um, if you're wondering, um, this is NYC Wine Bar. I think this color is like 99 cents at CVS. Um, it's a long-wearing nail polish and I have to say as of what is this two or three days it still looks pretty good um, if anything I'd probably put another clear coat on it because I do like my nails more shiny than this but um I will say that I, I it's 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 still holding up it's holding up <laughs> I usually pat this and try to get it in the crevices. I try not to. I try to have some sort of seamlessness, just so that way you can't clearly see like where it starts and ends. Like it blurs, blurs out. I'm not gonna do my under eyes because I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna leave the pro long wear for that. I'm gonna let that tackle it, and I'm going to blur out some of the redness. I'm not gonna worry too much about blemishes because I don't want like full full coverage look I'm just trying to 
I'm going to a park, so I'm trying not to scare the children, you know what I'm saying? My eyes are usually on a day like today where I'm not really trying to impress anybody. Um, I'm not really trying to do anything fancy necessarily. Um, I like to just do simple kind of natural colors in my eyes to just kind of look like natural shade. And so I think what I'm going to do, I actually recently went and purchased um, these two. Um, I got a 340 and a 240. The original concealer brush is kind of dirty, so I'm going to use it for this instead. So, it's just a really pretty color. I gotta get more of these brushes. They're like my favorite, like my favorite brush ever. And I'm gonna take the 240 and go in in the corners and on the lid. I don't know, is this considered a foundation? No, it's considered a pressed powder, so um, it has pretty, like, if you just wanted to wear this, it's, it's pretty good on its own if you have really great skin, I guess. I don't know. So I'm just blending, evening that out, and I think I'm going to go back in. Let's see what this color looks like. This is supposed to be a little bit darker. Ooh, it is. <laughs> this is like a semi first impression because I, I really had no intentions with this. I really did not know what this color was going to do. It's, fr it's really pretty though. The, I mean, if you if you like Bobbi Brown but you don't want to spend the money right now, I feel like the Fit Me Foundation collection is really close to that honey color that I feel is why Bobbi Brown is so successful. There are a lot of browns that kind of stay away from this honey, honey brown color and it's such a pretty color and there's so many women um, with that complexion and I feel like if you just aren't there yet, you just don't want to spend that kind of money. I feel like the Fit Me um, Foundation series is, is fantastic for that. So um, I'm actually done with my eyes. And so now I'm going to go in with some foundation. Um, I've had this sample that the girl gave me. Um, it's the only it's the only foundation that comes in that long skinny tube. So I forget what it's called. Um, but she gave me NC42. Um, I know in another video that I used this, um, I said and something something and w something 20 something 25. So that's not it. It's NC42 and. It has some oil in it, and even though I have combination skin, I just love it, and I think it just gives me a more natural look um, when it sets, and so I just love it. Uh, so when I'm done with this sample, I'm definitely going to get a full size. I don't care how much it is, because I love this foundation so much. Um, I was scared, you know, because when I said, when I, when I, she actually had it on, and I said, what's on your skin? What's on your face? And she was like, oh, I have this on. And I said, well, you know, I noticed it had a little bit of a dewy kind of finish on her. And I don't know if that was just because she's had it on all day or what. But I said, you know, I have oily skin. So, you know, what is that going to do? You know, is it going to give me a hard time? Like, you know, give me the gist. Um, she wasn't the best MAC person I've ever had. Like... I usually come across people who are just so like die-hard Mac users that like you know they give you the real scoop on stuff look at me did you see what I just did <laughs> I went over my um what I just did on my eyes I don't know if I just screwed that up or not or whatever because <laughs> it's like so like it just looked like my eyelids so I just went over it I didn't even like 
think about it. But I'm gonna go in with a tiny bit of long wear, pro long wear. I'm gonna try to use a very little amount and I don't really know. I'm really, a lot comes out with that one Even half a squirt. This is half a squirt. Like, and that might be too much. I don't know. I like to do one eye at a time. <laughs> because this stuff is pretty powerful. <laughs> Me and my mother were actually talking about it the other day. Yesterday, actually. And I was just like, she's like, I have to be careful. You know? Even half a pump is, like, too much. I was like, girl, you don't even know. I use like a full pump. If I'm going out, I use like a full pump. And that's like too much. <laughs> this brush has actually been clean for a while because ever since I got the brush from e.l.f. I haven't been using it. <laughs> Because also it's so small that it just like gets in to like all the spots. I'm going in yeah. with the uh, Prep and Prime CC uh, color correcting powder under my eyes. lightly brush over my face to set the rest of my face with um, the 240 like I mentioned earlier light brushing now it's safe to say I need some eyebrows <laughs> They changed, uh, I used the e.l.f. brow kit, and they changed it. Like, they changed the brush a little bit, so it's like a little bit longer, and I don't know, it gives me a hard time, <laughs> which I hate. Um, let me see if I can get some more control with these suckers. I don't have any eyebrows, but the little bit of eyebrow that I have, like, if, if one hair is out of place, oh my lord, I look crazy the rest of the day. But I don't feel compelled to do like the whole brow whiz thing, like the setting gel and stuff. I think it's so unnecessary if you have no eyebrows. If you have like a ton of eyebrow, girl, hit it up. But if you're like me and like your eyebrows are mainly flat, like my eyebrows don't come off. Like they don't sit out, you know, like they're flat, you know. like to do is I would like to um, go in with a fan brush with the 340 powder that I also used on my eyes and I'd like to use it to shade into my cheeks a little bit and to kind of give my face a little bit of color a little bit of color When I was in high school, I used to get made fun of a little bit for my forehead 
I don't know. And it, it never really bothered me because, I mean, it was a fact. Like, I had a big forehead. I have a big forehead. But for whatever reason, it just never bothered me. Like, even though that was always someone's first initial thing to kind of say to me, I guess that's why. I guess because I knew that that was what they were going to say. <laughs> like, it was just like, you know, you're having, like, a tiff with somebody and, like, their first go-to is big head, you know? So it's just like, okay, you're, this person's obviously not original. You know? <laughs> they don't know how to properly insult someone. So what I'm doing for natural look is just lightly dusting it under my chin and onto my neck just to kind of carry on that color. Um, and what I'm doing is just trying to buff this out as much as possible. Go in with, um, what is this? What color is this? Ah. I don't know what color this is. Oh, Berry Shimmer. This is a uh, Wet n Wild shadow from the Color Icon uh, collection. And this is a very pigmented um, blush, so I'm literally going to tap it lightly and dust it over the balls of my cheeks. I don't even know if you can see the difference. But it's like a really tiny amount. My boyfriend doesn't really understand the concept of blush, so every time I'm like doing my makeup, he's like, don't use blush, and I'm like, I have to. <laughs> I have to use blush, or else the whole point of me sitting here for an hour doing my makeup is I'm pointless. going in with my mascara. This is Great Lash, uh, Holy Grail, Old Faithful. Um, this is the Big. Uh, let's see if we can focus on that. This is Big, so Big Fat Brush basically. <laughs> and I'm going to use that for my top lashes and then I'll decide afterwards if I want to um, go in with my bottom lash mascara. Anybody watch Scandal this week? I think that's the face that everyone made at the end of um, this week's episode of Scandal. I think for the most part everyone was just like, did he just do that? Like, and it's funny because there was a discussion on, on, on my Facebook channel, on my Facebook page, um, and, you know, it was just kind of like, oh, who, you know, who do you like more? Um, you know, Jake or Fitz or whatever. And, I mean... I'm just going with the 340, by the way, under my eyes a little bit. Um, I feel like, for the most part, we can agree that, um, you know, her relationship with Fitz and Jake is quite abusive. Um, in the real world, um, not political. Um, my eye... My earrings are always, like, doing something. Um, in the real world, you know, a relationship like that is acidic and damaging. And having one man screaming at you and then the other man scaring you and killing people around you, um, neither of those are good picks for husbands or boyfriends. Uh, you usually try to avoid those type of men, but um, for the sake of television... You know, there is something attractive about both men, regardless of uh, essentially how abusive those relationships are. And, you know, it was pretty consistent that Jake is kind of the, um, the guy that everyone loves and thinks is more attractive. And I feel like Fitz is starting to look a little tired. Um, I don't know if that was something that they were going for, but in the last couple episodes, he's just been looking a little rough. So I uh, have been feeling Jake a little bit more. And I have to say the outfit that he had on when he went to go um, kill, um, what's his name's uh, husband? I forget all their names. Like right now I'm all about Olivia. Like it's all about Olivia. So like, She's the only person that I, like, take the time to remember. <laughs> but, um, when he went to go kill that guy's husband, his outfit was amazing. It was fantastic. Really with a tiny bit of Clinique's bottom lash mascara. Not on every lash, just 
in the front. So like just here and here, I find that it's a little bit more like pixie and twinkle. The last thing we're going to do is probably, um, I don't know what to put on my lips. What do you think I should put on my lips? I think I'm going to go in with my lip tint and be done. So let's go with... Some baby lips. This is just Dr. Rescue's, just to initially moisturize. Cause I don't necessarily, I don't, I don't think that this would necessarily be my go-to way of moisturizing my lips. It's a more successful um, color finished look, and it's kind of just what I always do when I am chilling. Um, it's pretty close to my spring look except for, um, I used a orange blush. I used more of an orangey blush in the last video. Um, a stronger blush I used, um, and I also used this color as well. So, I hope look. you guys have a good day. Um, I do want to do the TMI tag video that everyone's been doing because I think that it's a great way to, um, let you know more about YouTubers and your favorite channels to watch and um, I've been getting some new subscribers lately so I'm super thankful for that and thank you for watching and subscribing and wanting to watch um, more. I will see you guys another day and I hope that when you watch this video, um, it doesn't take me too long to edit and put up, but I hope that when you watch this video you enjoy this look and it helps you um, maybe just learn a different way of just accomplishing um, a somewhat clean look. Clean. Somewhat clean look. Um, I think that this is a good day, spring day, run into the park kind of look. Um, it's not a full face. Um, it's just enhancements. Um, it's what I would like my skin to look like and my face to look like without makeup. So, that's usually the goal. And you guys um, enjoy your weekend and... Bye, and again, I hope that the setting on this is better. This is the portrait setting, so I'm hoping that this is better because the last two settings that I used, I feel like the videos didn't come out crisp. They were they were pretty, like I looked okay, but I feel like they were kind of fuzzy, and so I'm hoping that this setting is better. <laughs> so again, thanks for watching.